How do you make a square in Illustrator? Let's take a look in this simple tutorial. So we actually have a rectangle tool in Illustrator. That's over here on the left, it looks like a rectangle. And so we have all these shape tools. If we click and hold, you can create different types of shape tools. But let's stick with the rectangle tool right now. Now every shape you create has a fill and a stroke. So the fill is like the color of the shape, the stroke is the outline. Right here you can see those two options. So I could double click on this fill. And if I bring my color picker over, I could select something like a blue and hit OK. And I could click on the stroke, and maybe I don't want a stroke, so I could click this none, this little slash icon. I could also double click to pick a color for the stroke. So now I'm creating just a blue square. So now when I click and drag, it starts to create a rectangle. To make this a perfect square, I can hold shift. And that's going to lock it into a perfect square shape. Then I just let go, and now I have my square. I have a few options with my square, so I'm not locked into that fill and stroke. I can select any square with the selection tool. Shortcut key is V. And by the way, the shortcut key for the rectangle tool is M. But I can click on this, and I can actually go to the appearance, or, or the same spot down here on the left. But I could go to the appearance panel over here in the properties panel, and I could change the fill right here to a swatch, or I could double click over here and bring up the color picker like I did before. I can change the stroke, so just so you know, a stroke kind of just looks like an outline around your shape like that. We can also change the corners. So you see the corner radius icon right here. We can make this a rounded square really easily just by clicking and dragging on those. If you don't see those, go up to the view drop down, down to right here. It's going to be hide or show corner widget. Now another way you can create a square, let's say I wanted to create a 250 by 250 square, I could click my rectangle, and instead of clicking and dragging, I could just click on my canvas and select a specific width and height. So 250 by 250, and hit OK, and now I have a perfect 250 pixel by 250 pixel square. Now, no matter what shape you have out here, when you select it, there's actually a transform panel in the properties section, so I could transform and change these values here for the width and the height as well. I could even lock them in if I wanted to. So I only have to change one to, let's say, 500, and it will change both to 500. And that's how you can make a square here in Adobe Illustrator.